Assalamu alaikum. So my name is Dr. Bilal Wajid and today we're going to talk about this course Data Structures and Algorithms using C++. The course assumes some prior knowledge. Now what does that mean exactly? It means that you've taken a course of introduction to programming and you have some idea of what data types are integer, float, double, string, arrays, um, you have an idea how to use loops like for loop and while loop, conditional statements like if, else, and you can make functions. Now with all of that, the course has six components. And the first component is really about C++ programming itself. So because the name of the course is data structures, it's appropriate to start with structures. And then we're going to talk about pointers, how to read and write an external file and measure how much time it takes to run a function. Now all these four components are really exactly what you need to discuss the rest of data structures. But if time per permits, and that's why this particular element is highlighted and bold, we will talk about object-oriented programming as well. The second component is about sorting algorithms. So this is where we're going to talk about time and memory complexity. We're going to look into inversions and how they can be used to measure how sorted or unsorted a given f array of numbers is or a given list is. And then we're going to talk about some legacy sorting algorithms like bubble sort, insertion sort, merge sort, heap sort and quick sort and see how they behave and how they actually sort a list of numbers and we're going to go through each algorithm step by step. The third component really is lists. So we're going to talk about s linked lists, double linked lists, circular linked lists, stacks and queues. The fourth component is all about trees. Now trees is the most widely used data structure today. An extension of tree is called graph. So all your social networks are really under have this underlining graph data structure. So we're going to talk about trees in general, uh, pre-order, in-order, post-order, tree traversal, what are binary trees, NRE trees, binomial and binary search trees. The fifth component is hashing. We're going to talk about hash, fun hash function, when a hash function causes collision, and then we're going to talk about collision resolution. So collision resolution involves separate chaining, open addressing, which is both linear and quadratic, and re rehashing. The last component of this course is where the most fun component lies, and this is where it's directly related to your term project. So we are going to introduce you how to make graphical user interfaces, ones which really look very professional. So we're going to do that using QT programming and how to make widgets, how to use dialog boxes, layout, status bar, resource files, check boxes, radio buttons, queue menus, really to name a few components that are going to look into that. This part of the course really helps you to ensure that whatever programming, uh, so this idea that you're going to back end programmer should really wither away at this stage. And it's really about how to make, give professional looking programs or software really to your clients so that feel, uh, the gra user feels comfortable with what has been done. So the course is not difficult. We're going to present it in a way that it's, although it looks uh, a significant amount will be covered, but it'll be presented in a way that that's easily absorbable and digestible. And you can do these fairly well. And it will be paced in a way that everybody can follow. With that, uh, see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.